This is part two of my Doreen Ryder versus Kayla lawsuit video. And I made the first part a couple, probably seven to ten days ago. And I promised you guys I would make a response video, number two. So here's going to be the meat and potatoes of what's going on. If you are not familiar with the case, if you are watching this and it's many, many years later and you don't feel like going through and finding out what's going on, here's what's going on. Um, Durian Rider and Freely bought a manual, I guess, from a woman named Kayla. Kayla is a personal trainer somewhere in Australia um, advocating uh, certain dietary restrictions, certain dietary, um, certain ways to eat, certain ways to exercise, to get a bikini body, to get in shape, we'll say. Uh, Durian Rider and Philly bought this program for, I think it's $130 to $140. Didn't really like it. Asked for a refund. Kayla wouldn't give them the refund. And they came out with uh, many movies that are basically um, saying the program isn't that good and defaming or um, smudging the reputation of Kayla. And Kayla came back and sued them. Number one, anything in this movie, not personal. Number two, because I haven't read or bought Kayla's program, I want to say that if she is advocating for a 1600 calorie diet for young women ages 20 to 30 that are 130 to 140 pounds and are active, it is unhealthy. Period. There's no arguing that. Number three, freedom of speech, guys. Um, people don't really understand the full meaning and the full um, the full meaning of freedom of speech. Um, yes, we have we yes we have a freedom of speech to say what we want, but it only goes so far. And here's an example: you can't go into a theater and scream fire. You can't be on a commercial airliner up at 30,000 feet and yell, there's a bomb on the plane, when there really isn't. That's freedom of speech, but there are consequences to your actions. You know, when you're up on a commercial airliner at 30,000 feet, you can't yell bomb because it puts other people in danger. In this situation, what Durian Ryder has said about Kayla is slander. It's, it's defaming her, it's smudging her reputation. And if you feel that Durian Ryder has the right to come out and say this, that's fine. You can respect the fact that he's come out and says this, and, and is saying these things. But on the, other, on the flip side, you also have to respect the fact that Kayla has the right to sue him. You can't have it one way and not have it the other way. So number four, if you poke a wasp's nest enough, you can't be surprised if you get stung. I feel that you can come out with a review video for something, for whatever, but if you keep mentioning someone's name over and over and over again and saying really, really negative things towards that person, you can't be afraid or you can't be surprised if something bad happens. So in this case, instead of just making one movie and being done with it, Durian Ryder poked the wasp nest, he poked Kayla with the first movie, poked her again, poked her again. I think there were four movies with her name just in the title. Like in the last 30 movies that Durian Ryder has made, her name has been in four titles. And that's not to mention if she was even mentioned in any of the other movies themselves, and not to mention any movies that Freely made or any movies, or, or anything on Instagram, or any other kind of social media. So he poked, and he poked, and he poked, and and this is what happens. It's like there were some really good comments on some of his videos that I've made screenshots of. And one of them is, uh, if I was the CEO of Trek Bicycles, and I made movies and posts on Facebook and Instagram, about how Cannondale bicycles suck. And I was going on and on about their frame materials and their workmanship and the fact that the frames break. Guess what? 
I'm going to get sued. I, and not only is it unprofessional, it's slander. It's, it's smudging the name of a professional business. So in the same way, Durian Ryder is in the same business as Kayla is. They are, in a sense, direct competitors, much like Cannondale and Trek. So it's, it's one thing for me to come out with a review, me, lowly old me, plant-based cyclist, to come out with a review on, on a certain bicycle because I'm not a direct competitor of that bicycle company. But here, Durian Rider and, and Kayla are direct competitors. So for Durian Rider to come out and say, this is bullshit and this is crap, don't buy into it. I mean, in a big way, that is it's slander and that's the reason why Kayla is suing him. Period. One of the in one of Dr's post lawsuit movies, where he he did it with with Freely, they're saying, "Oh, we're just the couple next door trying to help." I I just I I laughed. It's laughable, because, I you can, you're just lying through their teeth. I believe that they're trying to help, but they're going about it in the wrong way. Um, they're claiming that Kayla is being a bully here. In suing them, again, I found that laughable because you know what bullies do is they, they pick on others, they needle them, they needle, needle, needle until the other person snaps or, the other, or they, elicit, they elicit a reaction out of the other person. I know because I've been bullied, I was bullied back in elementary and middle school and I hated it and I, I can understand what Kayla's going through being bullied here. So I in no way, you know, Durian Ryder claims that he's being bullied. Completely disagree. I don't buy it. A hundred percent don't buy it. Um, and unlike bullies on the playground, you know, they didn't, they didn't get a slap on the wrist. It's the real world here and they got sued. Oh well. Number five point I'd like to mention is Durian Ryder also made another movie about Kayla possibly buying likes and buying followers on social media and Facebook and Instagram. Don't care. 100% don't care. Frivolous argument. Again, it's just another way of them poking and prodding and trying to belittle someone when there really is no argument. Durian Ryder and Freely are just... Their feet are up on a table, their hands are back, they got all the followers they need. Uh, so again, another frivolous argument. They should say, they should they should have just said we don't care about this. But instead, they just made a stupid argument to needle her some more. Number six point. I have an alternate theory to this, and I'm sure a lot of you disagree with this, and some of you may agree with this, is that this was all part of the plan, guys. It was all part of the plan. He's needling her. And he's poking her until something catastrophic happens until, until something big happens and here it is he's getting sued his name is out there TV channels are mentioning him a lot of people in this movement including me people like me are making response videos and mentioning his name this is exactly what he wants and and I agree I fully agree that I am part of the not necessarily problem but just part of the the it's one of the people who are feeding this, uh, feeding his name, feeding, feeding fire into the Durian Rider name to get more followers, to get more likes and watches on movies, and to get more money. So, guys, we can all learn from this situation. I am all for spreading the message of whole foods plant-based diet, 100%. That's why I have my own channel. But there are better ways of going about spreading the message. I feel like Durian Rider's channel has become more of an entertainment channel rather than an educational channel which is fine he can do whatever he wants but let's play nice we can come out with a review movie on whatever we want but let's not come out with 10 review movies and poking and prodding this one product until they sue us thanks for watching